Welcome to the shortwave radio channel. And as I continue exploring the uh, Chinese clown for the receiver here, I can uh, I can see a lot of its shortcomings, of course. Um, for example, in the 49 meter band Radio Marti, when I use the uh, MLA 30 antenna, is very strong. It overloads on every signal. And I actually have to go in the menu. And in the menu, I actually have to uh, make sure that I put the RF gain here to zero. So I have to put it like here. This enables me to mitigate the overload from the MLA-30 into the radio. So it shows you that the front end is very, very uh, rough because Radio MRT is really, really uh, messing up this receiver. But it enables me to receive. So, you know, if I go to 6 megahertz and listen to Radio Vanna Q, for example, it'll, it'll work at some point with the RF gain at zero. Problem is, when the RF gain is at zero and you're out of a band with a strong signal, then you have to kind of pump it up again. So, this is one of the major problems with the with the receiver is that it overloads easily on strong signals. It's okay, of course, in bands where it's more quiet, where signals are weaker. But it is a shortcoming. So, you know, there's a mix of... Um, it works well with the telescopic as long as you don't have internal noise. And it works well with the uh, MLA-30 outdoor, for example, as long as there's no overload. But you have a trade-off. And that's where I can see why a lot of people are complaining about this radio. There's definitely a trade-off on the on the Chinese clown, um, which is, I would guess, probably not a problem on the uh, original Russian one. Uh, so that's probably, I could see why some people are complaining. I will say, um, as of my observations for the past few hours, once again, I would not necessarily say to anybody to buy this it is awkward in its software use how you actually go around the frequencies and and change modes and it's it's kind of not um, natural to use if i want there's things that you search for and you wonder how the hell you do this and so you know if you're not a tech savvy person this is a rough radio to actually maybe play with if you are, it's still rough because it's not it's not user friendly the way that it's been designed, and you got to play around and play around a lot with it to actually understand a lot of the stuff. But uh, you know, I'm not I'm I'm happy with it. I'm okay. I've, you know, for I was expecting a, a crap radio. I'm actually happy because it's a, a pretty surprising radio but it has a lot of shortcomings and um, including the overload which is a problem and the internal noise when you use telescopic which is a problem so um, of course there'll be a very full review in the next uh, week or so or even in a few days but as you see it, it receives and I mean it works um, but I would not necessarily say to anybody to buy this. Um, you know, this is a clone. I've said it. Uh, a lot of Chinese clones out there. This is a different type of clone. There's like a really super cheap one. And there's a more expensive one. This one is the more expensive one. Um, it, I'm impressed once again with the sound quality. There's a few little things that, you know, are kind of pleasing with it. So I'll be using it more and uh, posting videos and giving you my honest opinion of what I think of it and why you should buy it or stay away from it. 
Um, I can't see a reason to tell anybody to buy it already after just a few hours of using. But it's um, it's a pleasant toy to play around with. And it's kind of interesting to see this little portable radio with a integrated screen here. It's very small, by the way. Uh, very small. If you look at my hand next to it, it's actually a small little portable. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.